So we are going to be continuing our elimination rebuilds with the San Antonio Spurs today, who have been eliminated from playoff contention. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing? We are back here today with a San Antonio Spurs realistic rebuild. So I'm excited to do the Spurs today because I, for one, love their young core. I love DeJounte Murray, love Kildon Johnson, love Dem Vassell, love that they have three first round picks in the 2022 draft as the Warriors defeat the Heat. So we are here with the 2022 draft lottery and I believe we have three first round picks. I did download a roster scenario, so I'm not sure if I'll have to trade for maybe that, what is it, Bulls and Raptors pick? Or no, Celtics and Raptors pick. So uh, yeah, we'll get into that after here. We'll see if we get some draft lottery luck. We had insane luck in the Orlando Magic rebuild. So we'll see if we get any luck today. So there is a chance we could fall to 10 if Washington gets lucky here. And they don't. Okay. Let's see if we're the team that gets lucky. I'm fine with being at nine. I think that'll uh, just be a nice challenge for us. And we do get the ninth overall pick. So does this roster scenario have the updated draft picks? I don't think so. I believe we're getting 27 and 20 in this draft. So I'll have to trade override for those. So we're basically swapping, I guess this Pistons pick. I thought it was a Rockets pick, but yeah, this person might've just had this all kind of messed up. So we are going to get this 20th pick from the Raptors. And you know what? We could do a nice three team trade here. And this is from the Derek White deal, I believe. And I'll just send them, I'm not sure if they got a second, so I kind of want to keep my second. So I will give you a 2026. I'm not sure what pick was involved there, but uh, yeah, we're going to get these two first round picks. Let me just trade over uh, that. All right, so Greg Popovich, did he retire? I don't know. He did retire. Okay, so it is a new era of Spurs basketball. We need a new head coach. Quinn Schneider would be a nice replacement. This, is he just like, yeah, Utah's a mess for me. We have plateaued. We've kind of peaked. Donovan Mitchell, our star player, might want out. Let's go out and get Quinn Schneider. Now, this would be a realistic way to get Donovan Mitchell, even though I will not be doing that today since we got him in the Magic Rebuild. So we can give him $8 million. We'll see if he accepts that. If he was not to accept it, we can go after Chris. Oh, I thought that was Chris Quinn, the Heat assistant. That would have been nice. Taylor Jenkins is a free agent. Well, that's not really a realistic option to get as a head coach. So we'll see if we can get Quinn Schneider. He might even come from the Popovich tree. I don't know. And we get him. Let's go. We're going to get Josh Longstaff, hopefully, as our shop doctor. And never mind. Yeah, 2K really just lacks the real coaches in this 2K. So we'll see next year if we can get like a real six shot doctor. We really don't have a lot of cap space for our coaching staff anyway, now that I had to overpay for Schneider to get him though, because he was by far the best coach on the market. I wanted to pay him. He's coming here to a great legacy left behind by Greg Popovich, and he can deal with this rebuilding team. So Jakob Pertl is honestly one of the more underrated big men in the league. I am cool with him being our starting center next year. We obviously have our starting point guard in Murray. His overall should be a lot higher, but I have no worries for him. McDermott is somebody I wouldn't mind trading, but he's also not a bad bench piece to you know, shoot some threes. And Joshua Primo, hopefully the jury's still not out on him and we can kind of maintain uh, his progression. So we'll see how the first eight picks go. We'll see if somebody falls. So the Pacers got the number one pick. They take Jabari Smith Jr., had him in the Magic rebuild. So if you want some Jabari Smith Jr. gameplay or just kind of simulation rebuild stuff, go watch that. Chet goes to the Magic. Three is going to be Ben Caro. No, it's Jaden Ivey. That means Portland walks into Tari Eason. Okay. All right. This Keegan Murray goes, don't tell me Ben Caro is going to fall to me. Don't do this. Okay. Thank you. Because that would have just been like, what the hell? Jaden Ivey fell to me at like seven in the Magic rebuild. So I was hoping that wouldn't happen today. Blake Wesley goes eight. Wow. All right. And then who just went... Or who just went eight? Yeah, Blake Wesley. Okay, so one player I know is still here. Johnny Davis is still on the board. Dyson Daniels, AJ Griffin. Ooh. I'm left with a tough choice here because if we look at our roster now, can I look at my team needs? Yes. So at point guard, I'm kind of cool with this rotation now. I feel like we could find a Trey Jones upgrade either. That's like Kennedy Chandler, Ty Ty Washington. I think if one of those players falls to me at 20, I will target one of them. Shooting guards... I don't know. I wouldn't be opposed to taking one. I don't think I'm going to pay Lonnie Walker because I believe, yep, he's a restricted free agent. I'm kind of cool with just going with Joshua Primo and maybe Johnny Davis here if that's who we take. Small forwards, we are chilling with Vassell and Kildon Johnson. Also have Josh Richardson, Katie Bates, the app who we can look to bring back as well. We need a power forward, but there's really no power forward available that I would like. And center, we could look for a backup, but that could be one of our later picks. So like power forwards here, EJ Waddell, Nikola Jovic, would that be kind of silly here? Probably. So I think the pick should be AJ Griffin or Johnny Davis. And I'm going to go Johnny Davis out of Wisconsin to be maybe our franchise shooting guard. Also, the Wizards have traded pick nine or excuse me, pick 10 for Terry Rozier and a future first round pick. Okay. So we are on the clock here at 20 and Kennedy Chandler from Tennessee is here. I think that's a perfect option at point guard. We could look at Jeremy like Sohan there. 
as our power forward, but could he fall to me at 27? Possibly. Or even Matthew Meyer and Kendall Brown. Just shout out to all the Baylor Bears there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go Kennedy Chandler. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want Andrew Nembhard. We want Kennedy Chandler. Let's go. And then let's go to our next pick. I don't plan on trading anything. And we are going to select. Wow, Ty Ty fell. Damn. Uh, I don't want Hami Hawkins. Jaden Hardy. You may take a flyer on Jaden Hardy here. I mean, were any of those power forwards that I like? Nikola Jovic, Tracy Jackson Davis out of Indiana could be a possibility. Patrick Baldwin still on the board. There goes Matthew Myers still there. You know what? I'm going to take, I uh, know I should probably go with four. So we're going to take Tracy Jackson Davis. Yeah, I don't get him too often, but we are going to snag him. We also have an early second. I mean, if Jaden Hardy falls to me there, we have 14 offers. I wonder if there's a prospect still here that people like. And it is not Jaden Hardy. Yeah, Jaden Hardy did go. Or no, did he not go? Oh no, he must have went early in the second round. Yeah. Who did he go to? Oh man, Kings. Damn it. <laughs> he goes to the big right before me. Tatai falls to the second round. I don't think that's happening. So uh, yeah, I really do need to take a power forward. I think Nikola Jovic. Uh, oh, I just took Chasey Jackson Davis. We could go Christian Braun out of Kansas who balled out in the national championship game. Sure. Why not? I don't know if he's going to play for us, but it's cool to draft him. So yeah, we're going to sign all four new rookies in Johnny Davis, Kennedy Chandler, Tracy Jackson Davis, a couple Davises there, and Christian Braun. So we got an SEC player, two big tens, and a big 12 guy. So team player options, we do have a lot to work on here. $18 million is way too much for Josh Richardson, so that's gonna be declined. We are gonna pick up the Trey Jones option, even though he might not start for us next year. Zach Collins, I mean, we do need some power forward depth. We will sign, we will bring him back because um, we do have the cap season. I mean, maybe I could sign him for cheaper and free agency. Does he have a team option next year as well? He does, okay. So it's not fully guaranteed. I think I'll bring him back on that. And yeah, we're gonna pick up everybody else's option. Qualifying offers, Romeo Langford. Eh, no, I'm gonna let him walk. We bring one Indiana player in, in Tracy Jackson Davis, and we are letting one leave. Lonnie Walker, honestly, with the draft pick of uh, Johnny Davis, we are gonna not offer him the qualifying offer either. I know, kind of crazy. So I think the only thing in free agency I could look at is another power forward, or I mean, we do have some depth there. It's really just a backup center, an upgrade over Jock Landell, um, I think is pretty much the option. I'm still fine with being bad next year. So any backup power or centers that I like that doesn't really need to play a lot, wouldn't mind a young option like an Isaiah Hardenstein, sure. Uh, Kavon Moody's still only 26. Thomas Bryant, I mean, he's kind of too good as a backup center option, you know, I wouldn't mind. Um, Mitchell Robinson, why is he 76 overall? That's okay. Some of these rosters you download get a little weird. So honestly, Jamil Okafor, let's sign him to a one-year deal. We'll overpay him. And here are some of the downfalls of downloading a roster. <laughs> There's no salary cap. Why would the guy create this without any salary cap? That is so annoying, but I'm going to be smart with it today. I know what the salary cap is. So if anything, this gives me more of a challenge because other teams could just build stock teams without a salary cap. That is absurd. Um, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. So I'll see if there's a rule change to get it back. What we don't need is, yeah, like these teams ushering out $67 million and having unlimited space to join Damian Willard. That will kind of arise a challenge that we're going to have to get around, but that's fine. I know if I can offer our max deal and we would have max contract like cap space right now, we would and we would next year as well. So I don't know. San Antonio is a bigger market, mainly due to team success and not really geographical. So We'll see. I honestly don't mind building through the draft only and via trade. So we'll be on the lookout for that today. I guess this just only messes up trading um, as well because trading, there would be no cap. So there's no financial trade rules, which is kind of annoying. I actually don't know if that is a possible rule change. I guess I really can't figure that out till the next off season. I don't, it is frustrating you can't change that in 2K, but you know what? It's fine. It's honestly just not that big of a deal. All right. I honestly think Jaleel Okafor is not even going to play for us next year. I think I am going to give Kennedy Chandler the minutes over Trey Jones. Yeah. I think I like his upside a little bit more. We're going to go 14 of these three. We got 23 to Primo, 30 to Vassell, and then we got to deal with some minutes here. So we're going to go 33. 34 there, and then 28 to Johnny Davis. So this is going to be the rotation this year. System proficiency under Quinn Schneider is going to be, what is it, in pace and space? Um, it is three stars. So 
You know what, we'll go to that for this year. We'll see how it does. Maybe seven seconds or less would probably be the move now. That's actually even worse. Okay, never mind. So we'll stick with pace and space. I don't think we're gonna be very good this year, which is fine. Uh, I'm okay with being bad this year. So we just missed out on the play-in tournament this year as we, the, we are the 11th seed, which is fine. I think next year, I mean, I thought we'd at least be in the play-in tournament this year with our young core. So next year is really the year that I'm hoping we do make it. And when I say make it, I wanna be a top six seed in the Western Conference. Johnny Davis had a solid rookie season. I think he's gonna be chilling in that backcourt. So it's weird, right? I think like this team, what we're missing is like that elite power forward because I love Murray. I love Johnny Davis in the backcourt, love Keldon Johnson. I think I love the cell coming off the bench, shooting 38% for me off the bench. Love that. Like Perto could be the center. I think he can be, he is a free agent. So I might pay him. We just need to find that power forward. I don't know if that's gonna be via trade. <sighs> Joshua Primo wasn't great this year. I don't know, I think we can look into the trade market for a power forward. But I'm trying to think like who, like Pascal Siakam, would that even work? I don't even know. John Collins, maybe there was always some John Collins rumors out of Atlanta as Jaron Jackson Jr. is your finals MVP as the Grizzlies sweep the Hornets in the finals. Okay. All right, salary cap, what do we have here? We're not changing. Yes, there we go. Okay, I actually love you, 2K. I thought maybe they would not have this at all. Establish a salary cap. Yes, yes. Wow, I don't know how like buggy that's gonna be adding that mid save, but I'm actually so happy. I thought like, cause back in the old days before league meetings, when you had a salary, like turned off salary cap or you turned off like previously traded draft picks or stuff like that, like that was set. You would have to restart the save completely. So we had the 10th projected pick in the draft. See if the Spurs can get some luck. And we got the 11th pick. The Thunder just moved up into the top four. Oh, that's brutal. Why did the Thunder need any luck? As it goes, Mavericks, Rockets, Nets in the top three. Okay, so we have pick 11 in this draft. That's fine with me. We can maybe get a good shot doctor, possibly. Uh, we got Doug Christie here. Would Doug Christie want to be a shot doctor? I doubt it, yeah. I just gotta like offer somebody a deal that has zero offers as it is. So Dave Yorger, you got zero offers. Come on. Yep, there we go. Oh, come on. Want a real coach, but there's just not many at all in this game. Oh, so annoying. All right, so before we get started in the draft, I mean, I could look at maybe some power forwards just out there that we think could play the position. I mean, tradable guys, not a lot here. Like Julius Randle, Ugh, no. After that shooting season, God, no. And like, I would like somebody, they don't have to be defensive minded, but. It would be nice. I mean, Randall does a B-plus defense. We could look at Siakam in the last year of his deal. I'm not trading DeJounte Murray for him now. Tobias Harris would be, like, he would be cheap to get in real life. But we could look at Tobias. I mean, is there any centers out there that I feel like could move to the four? I would have to really look at their three-point ability. You know, like Towns. I, I need someone to space the four. Vooch. Vooch could be a power forward. We, oh, my God. His efficiency was bad last year. People are falling off a cliff left and right. Could look at P.J. Washington. I don't know. All right. Let's just go through the draft. And then let's figure it out. Is Doug McDermott still under contract? Because if so, I might look to move him. Yeah. Um, I think some teams will value his three-point shooting and it's an expiring contract. Also, shout out to Michael Beasley being back in the NBA. All right. The Nets probably want shooting. Do they have cap space now? Okay. That would have been perfect. I think like an early second round pick would be good value for Doug McDermott. Boston. All right. We're going to make this show with the Knicks. They're getting Doug McDermott for a second round pick. They can get some shooters around RJ Barrett. So we have pick 11 in this draft. Let's see who falls to me there as now we got Victor Wembani, Yama, and Shaden Sharp in the division. All right. I think I'm about to make a pretty big trade. We're going to be moving Tracy Jackson Davis and pick 11. There's really nobody I like here. There's Amari Bailey and Keontae George who are available, but I'm kind of cool with guards right now. So we're going to make this trade for a power forward. $38 million Siakam. I think like his new contract extension, he would demand less. Does he have a player option next year? No. So final year of his deal. We also get Kent Birch in the steal who, was he ever a spur at one point? No, just a magic and a Raptor. He is going to be our backup center uh, most likely. And we're giving up 11 in Jackson Davis. Pretty big trade between the Spurs and, a, and the Raptors. They've done some trades in the past with Thad Young most recently. And then obviously the Kawhi trade that was back in 2018 and with the pick they took chris livingston okay uh so yeah we got nicola uh juristic there's jurist uh no there's no t in there i'm just gonna call him nicola <laughs> and then we got justin power is he out of tennessee and he's out of serbia okay so we're gonna sign both i don't think any will play uh we're gonna pick up the team option on Vassell primo we're gonna let collins walk and we're gonna pick it up on christian braun even about 2.3 mil probably a lot so van vliet opts out are they blowing it up in toronto possibly uh we are not gonna extend I guess we can't extend him the qualifying offer. But yeah, we got to pay Keldon Johnson this offseason. DeJounte Murray could be a free agent as well. And hey, look at that. We are actually over the cap now with the Siakam uh, pick. So we do have bird rights on 
Pirtle. 23 mil a year. Oh boy, do I really want to lock in almost $60 million between Jakob Pirtle and Pascal Siakam? They were once teammates. I don't know if I want to do that though. And if I look at centers I can afford, I mean, I mean, I guess Moss Turner is a little bit cheaper, but now we probably want to bring back uh, Pirtle. So if I, I don't know why he was, wouldn't want to come back, especially if I'm going to pay him all this money. But if we bring in Pirtle, I've typed this guy's name in so many times now, 20 million a year. That's a lot. I'm going to monitor him and see if his price goes down. Oh, after moratorium, he got signed. Wow. Who signed him? Rockets gave him 19 mil a year. Oh, he switches in division. Okay. Um, Ken Birch now slides in as the starting center. Um, and we also see that PJ Washington got paid 23 mil a year. Mobamba 13 mil, Thomas Bryant, 13 mil. Crap. Okay. This isn't great. So, um, we have one, two, you yeah, know, we got plenty of guards. I'm cool with that. We really do need a power forward or a center and there's not a lot of great options here. So we could look at Steven Adams on a, Ooh, Christian Wood. You know what? Yeah. Let's go after Christian Wood. We should have the cap to get him. And I'm going to give him, I think, you know what? 14 mil a year. This is kind of risky, but and we'll put a team up show in the last year. So we get Christian Wood. We have to renounce the rights on Zach Collins. I will on Trey Jones as well. And then we're going to pay Kildon Johnson, whatever he wants. And that is a free agency. I feel like that could be an upgrade from Jakob Perto or Christian Wood. Maybe not the greatest upgrade in the world, but we now have a fun front court with Wood and Siakam. Huh. So I just realized that uh, my camera just got corrupted. So unfortunately, when I was just talking for whatever the last 10 minutes, we'll not have face cam anymore. So I apologize for that, but I am happy with this off season. First of all, I'm happy that we got a um, the salary cap back and I'm excited about this team. I, my goal was to be the 60 next year. I think we will definitely get that. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be the starting five with Vassell as the sixth man, I think. Do I want to go 10-man with Christian Braun? We could. Ken Birch, 15. Kennedy, 17. Primo, 21 minutes a night. Vassell, 30. Let's go 30 to Wood. 30 to Siakam. But then, got to get more minutes out there. So maybe Christian Braun's going to get like seven minutes. And we'll go 14, 16, 20, something like that. So I got eight minutes left. Let's go 33. Let's go 32. Maybe will go 29, 29 there. All right. So we'll see how this team does. I feel like we could be the sixth seed this year. Let's hope so. And we were the fifth seed this year, which I will take. But the midseason mark, man, some of these start today ones are really weird with kind of like, I don't know. I guess like the boomer bus system is in full effect because one of our players, one of our top players was horrible. I'm, I kind of cut down his three-point shooting a little bit. But still, I don't really know what to say. So the player that struggled was our best player, DeJounte Murray. His efficiency was 37, 22, 82. Like one of the worst seasons I've ever seen from an 87 overall. Keldon Johnson, really good. Siakam, I think was fine. I'm really hoping his contract extension is less than like 23 mil a year. We'll see. Vassell, really good. Also, Christian Wood, honestly, cut down on the threes maybe, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what happened with DeJounte Murray. Uh, Johnny Davis was a lot better in his second year, which is good. I think, I don't know, like a lot of mid to teen scores. I don't know who's going to emerge as that 20 plus per game score. Hoping that's maybe Keldon Johnson. I don't know who's hurting this right now. Maybe it's Siakam being here. Maybe it's Christian Wood. But this seems kind of weird. So we have the Clippers in round one. We were the fifth seed, and I was very happy with that. So we're going to begin Shake Milton, Terry Rozier, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Zubats, Powell, Ennis Canner, Freedom, Terrence Shannon, and Kemba Walker. Always forget Kemba Walker is on the Knicks. Uh, so we do lose game one by 17. Brutal. Keldon at 21. Game two, we do lose as well. <sighs> Murray, you're about to be a free agent and you're just unplayable kind of offensively. What is going on? Don't go down 3-0, please. <sighs> Maybe we're really far off than I thought we'd be. Keldon Johnson, just not great of pitch. Oh my god, this team stinks. Siakam! What? Game four, we do win by four points. Siakam has been horrendous in the playoffs. He better ask for 10 mil a year. Uh, we do win game six, or excuse me, game five. Kennedy Chandler gives me 20 off the bench. Do I start him at point guard next year and move on from Murray? Do we do a sign and trade with DeJounte Murray? We don't force a game seven. We do lose by five. All right, at least we didn't get swept. I don't really know how I want to build this team next year. Now I have Christian Wood. Maybe I shouldn't have signed Christian Wood for this song. I don't know, because I still feel like we're years away from competing for a championship unless we see some major development from our young guys. So our first round pick is going to be in the 20s as the Pelicans, oh my God. They get picks two and three and they weren't even their picks. They picks 29 where they ended up from them and then two and three from the Anthony Davis and Drew Holiday trades. That is insane. 
Our pick is at 19. I think that Bulls pick is for next year. All right, so it would be weird to trade Christian Wood right away, and I don't think I'm going to. So I'm going to make my selection at 19, in which we are going to take Jalen Lewis, a center, to replace Ken Birch. And Lewis is a 75. We got Milan Momsilovich there. Uh, is yeah, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Jalen Woods, I think, would be your backup center. Helkins ended up with DJ Wagner and Ron Holland. That is pretty sick. We're picking up the team options on these guys. There's a chance I'd trade Joshua Primo as well. We do have to pay Devin Vassell a decent amount of money this offseason. And yeah, how much is Murray and Siakam asking for? Way too much. Murray wants $24 million. I mean, even... Okay, so if we re-sign Murray, we don't have to re-sign Siakam. We don't. So that 32 is really 25. Is there any power forwards out there that would be like game-changing that we could sign? I mean, Sabonis has zero offers. We let Siakam walk. We bring in Sabonis. I feel like that makes us better. It has to, right? So if I were to sign Sabonis, it would cost me a little much. 28 and a half a year. And then I go out and sign DeJounte Murray. I have to make sure I could do this without... I guess, uh, what's his name? Getting a deal. Um, Vassell getting another deal. That's just a qualifying offer, right? Okay. And then Murray, let's sign. There's a chance I need to trade somebody, but we get the bonus. We get Murray. We would have to still, I think, clear up around $5 million involving um, to keep Devin Vassell. So let's see who we could trade to clear up 5 mil. I feel like Primo fits that criteria pretty obviously. He's coming off a, not a bad year last year. It's a good bench piece, but in order to get those guys, I have to clear up five mil. And trading him is just easier than trading Kennedy Chamar and Jalen Lewis. So yeah, we're gonna move Primo. And the OKC Thunder are gonna pay me a nice price. Utah's unprotected first round pick next year and Houston's 2026 unprotected first round pick. They see the potential in Primo. Watch him win most improved or sixth man of the year next year because it's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, we have about 2 million with Vassell there. We get, we bring back Murray. That's better will be as a bounce back here. And we bring in Sabonis, who I think will be an upgrade over Siakam because Siakam, I guess, gives me the defense, but Sabonis also gives me the playmaking. So we just got to make sure Vassell doesn't get another deal. I don't care about Ken Birch, to be honest with you, because we got Jalen Lewis and Siakam. Yeah, he's got four offers. I mean, none of them are really real offers. So there we go. We get Sabonis, we get Murray. Now we can pay uh, them Vassell, whatever he wants. So we might need to sign a wing also. Like, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I would like to sign a shooting guard. Sweet Mukayu, we can get Josh Jackson, Grayson Allen, Jordan Clarkson, Ty Jerome, Dylan Winler. Ty Jerome's a shooting guard now? Okay. Um, Let's see Sweet Mukayu shoot from three last year. 36%. All right. I'll sign him to a two-year deal with about eight mil a year. I like that. There we go. So yeah, Sabonis is now our highest rated player. I know we've seen a little bit of roster turmoil, but I think we have our core now with Sabonis and Wood is a weird front court. That's the only thing I think could change and that would obviously be Christian Wood being moved. But we'll see how this year goes. I mean, Wood would be an expiring next year or we could just decline his team option, but we don't really have a lot of cash space going forward. So this is definitely the starting five with Vassell being the sixth man. I love Kennedy Chandler. Um, I don't think like Christian, well, Christian Braun uh, was walking. So we got 15 to Lewis. We'll go 17 to Makai. We're gonna go 23 to Chandler, 30 to Vassell. That might change. 28 to Wood. 32 to Sabonis. I'd like to go 34 to Johnson, 30 to Davis, and 31 to Murray. Murray's kind of falling off. So system proficiency is three and a half star pace and space. We will go to either perimeter centric or yeah, no, we'll go to perimeter centric. It's four stars. So let me change Schneider's uh, preferred system. I also just have to make sure like, I don't think there's any scoring options that wouldn't really make sense since I got a new head coach. So that would definitely change, but there is none, right? Okay. So let's see how we do this year. I'm just hoping we see a bounce back year from DeJounte Murray. So we end the season as a two seed. Now I don't know if we're like still championship caliber as the Mavericks won 70 games. Good Lord with Luka winning MVP. But I think we're like next year's possibly the year. I did try to get a little creative at the deadline and try to get Bama to bio because the Heat weren't very good. I was gonna offer Wood in like the farm of picks, but we just couldn't get the salaries to match up. So that could be an option in the offseason. Also looked at Robert Williams, but he's got two years left, I think, with him being a one-year deal, and he says he wants to test free agency. We could look to trade for him in the offseason. That could be somebody if we feel like we can upgrade at the five from Christian Wood. Might use him as an escape goat. So we'll see. We got a battle of Texas here in round one, going up against the Houston Rockets. We have a good team. And yeah, they got Keegan Murray, DeAndre Hunter, Paul George, now Shaden Sharp, and Mr. Jakob Pertle who's not been great. He was good in his first year. Not really great this year for them. They also have Keontae George, Mo Bamba, Alperin Shingun. That's a good seventh seed. We could be on upset watch. Keldon Johnson led the team in scoring. Good efficiency, career high, 59% true shooting. Also a career high or close to it, but I will take that. So bonus, 15 and points, nine rebounds, seven assists. Love to see that. 47 from the field, 1.2 seals. 
He doesn't need to take any threes. We got Devin Vassell averaging 14 points, 41 from three, 92 from the line. He is a sharp shooter. Johnny Davis had his best shooting season yet of his career, 58% true shooting. DeJounte Murray was better this year, thankfully. Uh, field goal percentage went up 6%. Three-point percentage went up. 11% free throw percentage went up 6%, seven and a half assists like that. Wood was actually pretty good though. He was. Uh, Kennedy Chandler was a good scorer off the bench. Makayu hit 39% of his threes. And Jalen Lewis would have had 12 and 9 per 36. Don't mind that. All right, so here goes nothing against the Houston Rockets. We do lose game one by 21 points and we get embarrassed at home. All right. Yeah, I knew this series wasn't going to go too well. I do think we're maybe uh, still a year away. Don't get swept. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We get swept as the two seed. I hate you too, okay? Well, at least in my mind, I knew we were gonna win it all this year. We were definitely gonna go one more year, but you didn't have to let me get swept by a seventh seed. Like, are you kidding me? And the Mavericks with Luka, they got Jalen Brown and Victor Wembanyama. Wow, that is kind of absurd. So LeBron retires with the Timberwolves. Chris Paul retires with the Nets, okay? But yeah, I think, we're going to look at a trade in the offseason involving our center if this is going to be the final season. We have actually a couple of draft picks in this lottery. Of course, that Jazz pick isn't going to be as good as I thought it would be. So let's see if it gets lucky. And Jason Tatum's a free agent this offseason. Celtics didn't make the playoffs either. They could be looking to rebuild. I think Robert Williams is definitely going to be on our radar if Bam gets too expensive. But this is where I may use one of these top picks to go after Bam at a bio for the final season. So Spurs, 9 don't get very lucky in this video, which is fine. So we, had, we also have the Bulls pick in this draft. We do. So we have 9, 16, and 28. Okay, so I'm going to make the draft selections and then trade them because I also have to pick up Christian Wood's team option. All right, so we made a lot of draft selections here in this auto-generated draft. We are going to sign all of them at the moment, the best one being Ernest Woods there at pick 9. So team buyer options, we are going to pick up Christian Wood's team option, but we are going to look in the trade market for a center. So like I said, I'm going to start off with Bam Adebayo, who I believe is now an expiring. Yes, he is at $37 million. I don't even know if we're going to have the cap space to get this done. So if we did Christian Wood, actually, we might not even have enough money to get this done. Uh, Ernest Woods, probably, how much am I off? 11 mil. I mean, yeah, like Svima Kayuk would have to be included in this deal to get it done. Svima Kayuk, and then what's the problem here? One mil, and then I would give you that other pick that went. Who was it? It was Gordon Maxwell. Nope, nope. Who was the other one? Was it Malone? Mac Malone, 16th, yeah. So we'll offer this package for Bam Adebayo. They might say yes, they might say no. They say yes. I think we got our final team. So we will need to sign somebody though to replace Vima Kayuk as just a good shooter for us off the bench. So we look here, we got nobody there and shooters. Carousel Vert, who's got A plus? Frank Jackson? Screw it, let's go and get Frank Jackson for about eight mil a year. Let's do it. All right, so we got Bam at an 89. Kennedy Chandler's up to what? He's higher than DeJounte Murray? Okay, this team is good. Let's see if it could be championship good next year. But I just love the Bam and Sabonis front court. All right, so we're gonna go 15 to Lewis, probably 15 to Jackson too. Chandler's gonna get about 25. I wanna go 30 to Vassell. We're gonna go 32 to the front court, 33 to Johnson. Ugh, okay, 31 to Murray, but how can I get four more minutes out of these guys? We might go 28, 24. Yeah, do 30 to Johnny Davis. Okay, actually, Johnny Davis and Dem Vassell are both going to get 29. Yes, I'm good with that. This is the rotation. Can it win a championship? It should be able to. We're four and a half star perimeter centric. Uh, are we four and a half star anything else? Nope. Let's go out and win it all here in 2026. So we are a one seed this year as we should be. Let's see if Quinn Schneider gets coach of the year as the Heat go out and sign Giannis. I think they'd probably prefer Giannis over Bam and holy crap, we went 75 and seven. What? What? That is absurd. Oh man, if they make me lose in round one after winning 75 games, I am just never making a video again. I mean, this team is very well-rounded. I'm just kind of shocked as Frank Jackson shot 39 from three. That was a stud pickup. Like I'd rather have him than what's his name? Sweet Makayu. Can Kenny Chandler's just a stud. Like DeJounte Murray was, you know, somewhat efficient. Vassell keeping really efficient. Johnny Davis keep getting better and better. Um, yeah, we got Sabonis, Bam, and Keldon. So let's see how we perform against Minnesota in round one. Ty Ty is a second round pick. Wow. <laughs> Crazy good. Don't lose in round one. Please don't lose in round one. Thank you. We win in five. And I'm glad of our round two opponent, the Houston Rockets. We can look to get revenge on them. Um, Bam struggled. Is Bam taking threes? Why is Bam taking like a lot of threes? He's not. Unless he's just taking one a night and like never hits any, I don't know. So did the Rockets get better or worse? Please tell me the latter. 
Um, they got Jonathan Isaac now. Okay, they got Shaden Sharp come off the bench. Good lord, we're screwed. We're so screwed. I don't think we're gonna beat them. We do win game one though by uh, two touchdowns, which is nice. Vassell was kind of inefficient from the field, but he put up a lot as we win game two by eight. Bam, 23, 19, and six. Why is he still taking threes? 11 for 12 from the line. As we go up 3-0, we beat him by 19. That's what I'm talking about. Sabonis with 29, Keldon with 23, Murray with 20 and 12, and we do. I didn't mean to play that. Are we going to gentlemen sweep them? Come on, let's gentlemen sweep them. And then face another Texas team, and we do. That's what I'm talking about. Keldon Johnson had 32 in game five. Game four, Jalen Green went off in that one. So taking on the Dallas Mavericks, who have Luka, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler. Okay. They don't have, so the Heat don't have Jimmy Butler anymore either. We do win game one. Game two, we win. Come on, let's go up 3-0. Two to one. Three to one. And let's win in five. Let's win in six. And okay, we're going to a game seven. Oh, come on, please. End the video. I don't want to end the video right here. I want one more series. I mean, good start. Eh, I'll take it. Great second quarter, though. Phenomenal. Don't choke it in the third. Okay, we don't choke it in the third. Don't choke it in the fourth. And we are going to the NBA Finals. Let's freaking go. That Mavericks team is really good. But now we have Detroit going up against the MVP, arguably the best player in the league, Cade Cunningham. I'm going to close my eyes. Please tell me. Like, when I open them, we're Finals champions. Please. Please. Please, please, no. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. We lost in six. Oh, they were up 2-0. Then did we tie it up? No, it was 3-1, 3-2, and then we lost by 17. Tim, oh, that's so brutal. Either way, this was a fun rebuild nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like if you did. Love you guys. I'll catch y'all on the next elimination rebuild. Peace.